yes, thank you very much for for attending to the Digos, um, Andres Calavia. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to give the lesson advance and prospects of the joint study group one coupling processes between the magnetosphere, ionosphere, and thermosphere. Yeah, I'm here working in University of Alcala, in the next department. I, we have here in the in the top uh, have a, we have a, a lab also with some prospects for working here in the in this topic with a new new arrangement of the structure of the joint study group. We are gonna change a little bit the members and we will introduce new new activities very interesting which are related with with energetic particle and the coupling between the the magnetosphere and ionosphere. Well uh, hope it works. Yes. Yes. Uh, as uh, Michael commented before, the group is uh, in, in implemented in the in this uh, ICCT, the Focus Area Space Weather Research, and implementing. So this is for this next term, I, we will need uh, support from the ICCT, the Intercommission Committee on Theory, because we have to solve a, a numerical integration of differential equations for the the. The, the the processes uh, happening in the in the upper atmosphere the coupling so will be very necessary from from the ICCT to 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 have this collaboration and and we we will continue with the the activities we're doing and this is the uh, current configuration of the members we have with the, with the logos uh, the outline of this presentation have an uh, introduction, a strategy, and some conclusions I'm going to give is. I, I only have 10 minutes, so I will go a little bit fast. As you know, this, uh, the importance of, of uh, upper atmosphere uh, processes, we have uh, implications in radio signal propagation, drag force in, in low Earth orbit satellites, and also we have electric currents in the surface where we can have power outage and internet outages. So as you know, this radio propagation is a uh, is, is the problems we have with the ele electromagnetic waves uh, going through the ionosphere and then we we have many many applications such uh, positioning and navigation for satellites and ground and then we also have LBI, gps and ionospheric studies on the other side we have this drag force on on low earth orbit satellites where where the drag decelerates the orbit of the satellites and then uh, shrinks the, the length of the of the missions so this is very important as well as another factors such as uh, uh, the changes in the the understanding of the coupling processes in, in the upper atmosphere the magnetosphere so this is uh, interrelated with the uh, and coupled with the with the electron and with the solar activity so the objectives of the joint study group we have to characterize the global modes of the magnetosphere system magnetosphere mit system variation with diurnal as I mentioned before, Michael, so we have to determine and understand the mechanism of, of these discrepancies between the measurements, prediction, and models, and then we investigate the importances of these coupled processes in the system, and and this is the part of the the mathematical part where we have to solve uh, partial differential equations in these uh, the physical models such as the IGCM, which is the, the recent, and then besides we have the the, the events which are uh, sporadic like geomagnetic storms which we have to study uh, well we have to study in a separate mode so it's not long-term terms so, so sporadic uh, events so as you know here some nice pictures I'm going to show you of the space weather you know earth is protected with the magnetic field and then we have solar activity coming here through the through the magnetic lines coming to the earth we have the Van Allen belts the solar wind coming radiation so we will go slowly slowly low into the in the true face of the earth we have here also the ring currents approaching to the earth we have ultra low frequency waves so it's a little bit complex the, the configuration of the system then we have uh, in the surface we have elect electric currents which are for example this quiet current we have in the in the in the middle latitudes then we have a strong equatorial electrojet and then we also have particles in the in the polar caps and here is creating is a complex uh, electric fields and uh, uh, coupled with uh, uh, particle precipitation and 
and mix with the chemical reactions as well. So it's really complex. I don't know, will not go into details about the complexity of the system, but here you can see some some of the most of the known processes we have. So we have uh, neutrals in yellow and and electrons, well, charges particles in 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 white. This this is more or less uh, very very interesting. So we have here also another another figure where we have some uh, some local uh, structures like, such as this ion the ionization uh, anomaly, which is also similarly happening with the density. We have plasma bu bubbles, uh, plasma structures, then auroral, and then we have a lot of of uh, of um, particular uh, experiments to to to, to study. Uh, this uh, graph has been shown before by Michael. So it's uh, the, the the geodetic space weather research chain we are we are having recently. And here is a proposal I had for for studying this uh, general flow interrelations between the data, the models, application, and science. As you know, we have observation data, empirical models, physics basis models. Then we have applications here in science, and they are interrelated. Like observation data is generated in empirical models, can validate physical models. These empirical models and physics models are intervalidated between them, and applications need empirical models and physics models. They generate science as well as applications can generate more observation data. Well. We will see how to mix all this in then some conclusions for for final conclusion well final i have a couple of sliders with the conclusions we know that my magnetosphere is i know the thermosphere system is mainly influenced by by magnetosphere and solar forcing then also influenced influenced by the lower lower motions from the from the atmosphere and is coupled with energetic particle precipitation and also the electric currents so it's very very important to understand the, uh, the, the coupling between the neutral gas and the plasma, such as they are uh, essential geodetic variables, and, and they are very important for geodetic space weather research. So addressing the challenges to improve the understanding of the existing uh, state of the art of the of the of the coupling, we need more observations and more advanced in geodetic observations of plasma density and energy particles and field al aligned currents as well and more advanced theoretic and numerical modeling capabilities so this advance can uh, contribute to improve the research on space weather which is essential for applications such as uh, navigation satellite and positioning the summary of the activities uh, for this uh, term uh, we have had international cooperation with uh, developing countries countries with sharing knowledge and research tools we enhance and achieve successful interaction and cooperation with the three joint study groups of the IAG GOS Focus Area Geodetic Space Weather Research and another IAG commissions as well. Elaboration and submission of scientific manuscripts together with the, with the group and elaboration and submission of projects, which have been very successful recently. And then we also have elaboration of data model products that are freely available for the scientific community. These, those are in the publications related and also in the website. So we working effectively with the group members, and we made a platform common in the research gate, but then this kind of projects were closed, so we are going to open. Well, we also have a group in the Skype, so, but I was thinking to open this year like a uh, platform in the, to just to communicate, to post, and that the same as we have in research gate, but it was closed. Uh, last year when they changed the little bit research gate. We will increase the international cooperation and then elaboration of proposals. Uh, and then we want we want to make a workshop in Nepal. This is uh, it was planned for June 22, but uh, we we had to reschedule the, the 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 workshop for maybe 24, 25. So we have advancements in these developing countries um, through these uh, working shops we we organize and. And then we, we want to also make a project with the group members to to be able to pay fun, uh, publications and, and traveling and visiting. So we have some projects like this one I got for carriage relation with the uh, Observatory of the Ebro here in Catalonia nearby with uh, Professor uh, David Altadil, which is a very good colleague of us. And also we can do collaboration with him. We have uh, ionosonde the magnetometer. Then also another project like variability and applications of radiation 
cosmic ray and radiation belt particles, which was here in Alcala uh, in 2021. Then the, the EGNOS project also from Liang Liang Yuan. And we have Medus from Liang Liang Yuan as well. He is in DLR in Germany. This postdoctor position, KMLT from Munawarsha. So he got in Thailand. Then we have uh, two projects more here, for example, with Munawarsha, Education GNS, and and then here we have uh, this IFR instrument proposal for the NASA mission, which will measure electron density is from Naomi Maruyama, so very important member in our group. And then we also got the award for uh, for Amori, Professor Amori, which uh, got the big grand salary cost part joint medal. It was very interesting here to add this. So recent reports and presentations, uh, more information. We have here the midterm report. We are now finishing the details of the final term report. You can download here in this website. And also we have here the, the figures in the, in the top, and then we have the report in the bottom. We have a presentation and the, the report. So we are in the cooperation also with the low latitude working group of the Asia Oceania Geoscience uh, AOGS Regional Advisory Committee. And the objectives is the information exchange in the, in the identification. So it's led by Professor IP Wang. And we are also doing uh, seminars, monthly seminars, and we share in knowledge about the same topic and col collaboration. And here is uh, also an uh, invitation for young earth scientist students, uh, young earth sci <laughs> science, uh, system science, which I am a council member here in the community. So it can, they can join and, and start a collaboration and start to learn how to interact with the scientific community and, and any many, many collaborations we have there. So we have seminars, we have connected with the World Metallurgy Organization. And the idea is, is to put a little bit more of, of, of interest in this community through through this geodesy and because they, they are more mostly into, into weather and meteorology and uh, so we, we want to put a little bit more of interest into into space, uh, space uh, geodetic space weather research. Well, um, I think that's for all. Um, thank you very much for attending. <laughs> 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 <laughs>